Alright guys, so I'm um, removing this shock here on a Dodge Ram 09 two-wheel drive. It's a rear shock, so it doesn't really matter which rear wheel, four wheel. But um, anyway, the, the top is a real bear to get out. Um, what I ended up using, um, apparently it's 13 16 but I used a 21, 21 millimeter on the outside of it. And then there's a nut on the inside, and that nut on the inside it's um, you have to either have a stubby or a crow's foot or something to get in there because a regular socket won't get on there. It's supposed to be 13 sixteenths. Um, and so I went to the store to go get a socket and um, to my surprise they didn't have a um, or a stubby. They didn't have any stubbies that were 13 sixteenths and they didn't have any um, they didn't have any crow's feet that were 13 sixteenths either so um, or 21 for that matter and so um some guy posted a hack online where he took a um he took a uh, uh adjustable wrench and just hacked it to um or cut it to be a stubby and um so i came home from going to discount auto o'reilly's and then also sears with no luck and came home and got my got a stubby sacrificial stubby and cut it off and it worked worked great worked like a champ pulled it off one two three after that so um, there's the top bolt the next one is this bottom bolt here and that should be pretty easy <sighs> And the bottom bolt apparently is um, 21. So um, a little Ram oddity where you have a 21 on the bottom and a 13, 16 on the top. Surprisingly, surprisingly, these things weren't torqued down too much. I, I almost wonder if they had replaced these. I think they're, they're supposed to be 100 foot-pounds of torque on each, but um, there's definitely not that much keeping them on, although the nuts seem to be the lock-in type. But towards the end, they were harder to get off. So I pull this out, and the shock just should fall right out of here. That thing's like growing and growing and growing. So I'm replacing this with a Ranchero. I was gonna get to the Bill Steens and they were just too pricey for my blood. So I decided to go with the Rancheros. They're cheaped out. So um and then I'll cut to putting those in. Alright, hold up one second. All right, so this is the, um, the Ranchero, Rancho um, RS5000 series shock, um, RS5367 for, um, supposed to be for this vehicle. So um, should just go on, install this end down. So um, let's see, let's see how this goes.
Reach around the back. It's not on. And again, I think it was 100 foot pounds that they want on there. So I'll get my trusty old oh, torque wrench. I'll put it back into alignment. I always wonder how, how accurate these things are. Probably not very. Close enough. I'm going to try to go for a hundred on this. Not too bad. Once you make the tool or buy the tool, the proper tool, then it's um 
It's easy. Let me see if I can get this tool out now. <laughs> Starting to come out. Gonna need it for the other side. There we go. So that's the ticket. It's a little less than four inches, I'd say. I just cut off a little 200 millimeter adjustable eight inch. Brought it down to maybe four inches. Works great. All right, so now we'll get the bottom. Uh, this one is easy. Easy peasy. One, two, three. Again, I'll go ahead and torque this one down. That's about a hundred there. All right, shocks in. Nice, beautiful, huh? Isn't that pretty? All right, so I'm gonna cut back and um, start on this brake job again. Just put these new rotors and pads on. So I'll cut to that.